guys. Good morning. Happy Monday. I wanted to go live on this topic, the idea of managing nerves and backstage jitters before a show, because I think it's something that we all have dealt with from time to time, if you're a singer, if you're a performer, but it's also something that some get affected by a lot worse than others. And so no matter where you are, Sorry, I'm gonna make sure we're, we're live here. We are, okay. No matter where you are on the spectrum of nerves and stage fright, if you're somebody who just, you know, has a little bit of jitters before a show, right before, versus if you're somebody who like really has a lot of stage fright and you find it incredibly debilitating, what I'm gonna share with you today is like tried and true, it is the best strategy for what you can do right before you go on stage. I'm talking like 15 minutes before in order to shift your state, your vibrational state, your energetic state, your emotional state to a place that's something way more constructive for yourself, for your voice. Because as you know, your body is your instrument, your whole body, not just your vocal cords, right? And the energy and the state that you are living in, in your body dramatically affects What's gonna happen with your chords the moment you go to sing? Are you gonna be on your technique? Are you gonna sabotage your technique? Are you gonna give yourself all the right signals, but is your body gonna be like, uh-uh, can't do it, too scary, too nervous, you know? So, what happens in your brain when you experience nerves, jitters, stage fright before the show is your body goes into fight or flight. And when your body goes into fight or flight, you release cortisol, which is the stress hormone. And what cortisol does, I mean, cortisol can be very good if you're, you know, about to cross the street and you see a giant bus come and all of a sudden fight or flight kicks in and the cortisol hormone causes your body, it causes your fast twitch muscles to activate, it causes your heart rate to activate, it does all the things that it needs to do to save your life so that you move out of the way and you don't get hit by the bus. So fight or flight serves us when we're in a moment that our life is in danger. But for a lot of you, when you go on stage, you have a disproportionate fight or flight reaction right before you're about to go on because of fear and anxiety and all of the things that are going on in your head that while that's a larger mind body issue that, you know, for example, with our singers who do the intensive that we work on over a longer period of time, in that moment, sometimes it's just habitual and you need something to get out of that moment so that you're not in that cortisol reaction because the minute the cortisol, the stress hormone floods you, that's why you start to feel jittery. That's why you start to feel your heart palpate. That's why it becomes a lot harder to get on top of your breath because your brain is giving your body signals literally to like run away. And so your body, the cortisol and the stress hormones are literally um, marinating all of your, everything in your body in these, in these hormones to get yourself ready to like go, to flee, to, to, to escape, right? And we can't have that because we need to be present in our bodies, in ourselves, in a, in a state, in a vibrational state that serves stability so that we can access the most effective, most powerful, powerful instrument that Mother Nature gave us. So what I'm gonna share with you today is something that was shared with me by one of my uh, friends and colleagues. His name is David Funder, and he is a Brit. He's across the pond in London. Who uh, David is an osteopath and a physiologist, and he helps people align their bodies for whatever it is that they want to do, whether it's just walking through life, whether it's for running a marathon. And I've worked with him, I currently work with him to help my body uh, be in tip top physical form. He's not a trainer in the sense that we're like lifting muscles and stuff. He helps people to uh, align their, their physiology so that the way that they carry themselves every day doesn't sabotage the high performance things that they want to do, be it singing or boxing or, or running or whatever. So what I'm going to show you today is what's called a neuro warm up. So it is helping you to, and it's David's technique that I've learned to help you to get your neuro pathways calm and clear 
so that you're not releasing cortisol and you're not in your fight or flight, okay? So I'm gonna um, stand up and show you how to do this. Um, Oh, and I see we have some people watching live. Hi, Jeremy. I'm so glad that you like our tips that you like that's helping you. Okay, so let me see if I can stand up if you can see me here. Okay, so what we do is we want to start with just three what we call cleansing breaths. And you're going to do this like 15 minutes before you go on stage, whether you're in your dressing room or you can find a quiet place, you know, backstage. So you're gonna do three cleansing breaths that are just really releasing. And you might close your eyes. So you do three. And then you're gonna gently tap your teeth together. Five times, like that, okay? Then you're gonna start, I'm gonna take my glasses off. Then you're gonna start with your eyes and you're gonna just gently rub your eyes. Just find a gentle touch and space to kind of rub your eyes. And then you're gonna just gently caress your face. Gently caress your under your eyes. You guys, this touch brings you back into the present moment run your fingers through your hair gently and be present to the sensations and then your ears gently caress and rub your ears in and around your ear lobes and then down your neck Gently, there you go. That's it. I'm just gonna make sure my screen is still there. Okay. And then the back of your neck and you're gonna just gently make circles softly. This is not a massage, this is gentle touch. Okay. Around the neck. And then come in and along your chest, just Gentle touch on the other side. And then your shoulders and down and caress your fingers. And you're gonna run like this five times. And you again, you notice I'm not doing it quickly. I'm savoring the sensation. And then you're gonna do the underside of your arm like this, and you do five times. And then you're gonna go to the other arm and you're gonna do the same thing. And the, this is purposeful, intentional. It's a neuro warm up. Touch is one of the most, it goes straight to your brain. So you're doing this for yourself, five of them, and then you do five down the inside, just like this. In the interest of time, I'm not gonna do five, but you will do five, okay? And then you come here and you find your ribs, your side ribs. And again, this is not a massage. This is not hard kneading. It's just gentle, soft touch around the sides. And you'll notice I close my eyes. It really helps me to connect into the sensation. There you go. And then you want to go around the back and you want to gently with your knuckles knead in the back and on the top of your sacrum along your spine around the sides and then you're gonna come back whoops there we go oh no I hope we're still live my computer sometimes okay we are so you're gonna come back and you're gonna do your belly. And you guys, this is gentle, loving touch. It is so calming and connecting. Whatever cortisol was running through has stopped. Okay, and then you're gonna go to your bum. I mean, how? when does anybody ever tell you it's okay 
rub your bum a little bit, right? Just give yourself a nice touch. Feel that sensation. And then you're going to go up and down your legs. So you're going to go all the way down and back up. And all the way down to the soles of your feet. And then back up. And you're going to do it five times, just like we do your arms. And then you're going to go to the other side. Same thing. Up and down five times all the way and then you're gonna sit or you don't have to sit you can just brace yourself on something but I'm gonna sit and you want to do the soles of your feet this is incredible you guys we never touch the bottoms of our feet we rarely touch the bottoms of our feet so really find that sensation the ground it's very interesting and then you do the other side same thing, gently, or this is not a foot massage, this is gentle, like tickle touch on the bottom of your soles of your feet and your heel and the ball of your foot, okay? And then you're gonna do what is a little, it's, it comes from Tai Chi, and you're just gonna, like this, gentle. You do it about 10 to 20 times and you can do it as you breathe. Okay, and then we're gonna do some shaking and this is the best part. So you wanna stand with feet hips distance and then you're gonna shake. And you're really gonna shake and you're gonna let yourself make some noise as you shake. So you're gonna go, ha, 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 ha. And then you're going to get your arms involved. And then you're really going to go. Let your shoulders shake. Let your hips shake. If you want your heels to bounce, you can do that. And then you're going to take it up a notch and you're going to exhale as you do it, as you bring arms forward and bring arms to the side. So you're going to go. Close your eyes and let it settle. And notice where you feel tingling moving through your body, where you feel energy moving through your body. And you might feel tingling in the tips of your fingers. You might feel it in the insides of your thighs. You might feel it on the undersoles or the tops of your feet. Let the energy spread out and collect. And that's it. So this is what we call a neuro, a neuro warm up, courtesy of the amazing David Thunder. We're really used to warming up our voice. A lot of you might do a physical warm up before you sing. You might do some stretches. Those are awesome, right? But this is a neuro warm up. It's connecting mind and body. And touch is one of the, the most effective ways of coming back into the present moment, of allowing the body to settle and get out of that cortisol stress reaction so that you can use your body as your instrument in the most effective, powerful way. So that's something that I highly recommend that you do before you go on stage to be able to calm your central nervous system, connect mind and body in the present moment. I mean, you can probably hear how different my energy is just even right now from doing this in, you know, and showing you how to do it and demonstrating it. So it's incredibly, incredibly effective. Um, don't you have a huge opportunity before you go on stage that most of most of you I would guess you waste and you're running around and you're checking this and you're checking that and you know whatever kind of performance it is you're checking your your lights your amps you're checking your mic you're checking your whatever if it's a costume you know and that's all fine but then you don't take a moment to center and so the cortisol is just running 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 and and that's what's going to run the performance when you have a huge opportunity to be able to gather and center that, okay? So if you guys are really 
sick and tired of not having the tools and the techniques that enable you to annihilate stage fright in the long run. You know, this is something that's going to help you a little bit in the moment, but you're still going to have that ramp up until and unless you do the real, the real deep work, the kind of work, for example, that we do in the intensive to be able to understand what's driving that fear. What's driving that fight or flight before you get on stage? Is it a technique thing? Is it a psychology thing? Are you insecure because you don't know if your voice is going to show up the way it needs to? That would make me go into fight or flight too if I didn't have that absolute certainty that I could deliver no matter what, you know? And so if you're, if you're frustrated and you're sick and tired of not being able to have those tools that enable you to get rid of all of the stuff that causes the stage fright, right? Because this will help you in the moment, but you're still going to show up with that same level of cortisol. And, and stopping you from accessing the full power and the full um, potential of your voice to be able to stand out from the competition when it counts, be able to really live a very successful singing career, and you want some, some clarity on what's going on, then get on my calendar, guys. Book a call with me. Okay, I'm going to put the link in the chat right now. Here you go. Now, I want to be very clear about who this is for. So I'm going to put this link. Book a call with me. Okay, there you go. So I, I want to be just really clear about who this is for, okay, you guys? Um, because this is only for singers who are serious singers, like who are out there right now auditioning, performing, recording, training, who are serious about up-leveling up -leveling their voice, up-leveling their career, and they're serious about doing that right now. Like not, oh, you know, next summer, or, well, let me see, you know, how this record does, and blah, blah, blah. No, like if you know you're not getting the results that you want in your technique, in your career, in the form of the results that you really want to see, whether it's being able to make a full-time living, whether it's being able to, you know, stop being cut in the first uh, level of auditions and being able to actually land high level gigs and, and, and shows, right? If you're not seeing those results and you are serious about getting help and getting it now, then get on my call calendar, okay? Like, and, and by the way, this is not for, for dabblers. And what I mean by dabblers is, you know, it's not for people who are like, you know, just want to sing better at karaoke or just want to sing better for their cousin's wedding. Like, you know, th this is not for singers who are new, meaning you've never, you're, you're not out there performing. You've never done that. You, you've never studied, you know, taken lessons before. Okay. This is for singers who are in the game, who are serious about getting help because you're not seeing the results despite everything that you are doing. Okay. And so if that's you, then get on my call calendar. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a conversation and I'm going to share with you the same strategy that I use with the singers who are in our intensive program to eliminate the mind and body sabotage, to eliminate the nerves, the, all the things, because, you know, this is an amazing technique that I just gave you. But if you're not addressing what's really causing the fear in the first place, you're going to be a slave to it. I don't want that, okay? So I will share with you, you know, the strategy that we use with our singers to eliminate the angst, the fear, the inconsistency once and for all to create the kind of impact and consistency that ushers in really high level, really successful careers. And so if you're serious about that and serious about up-leveling your singing career, getting past the sabotage that stops you from your best sound, from the most successful career you could have, and you're serious about doing that right now, then click the link in the, in the chat if you're watching on Facebook. If you're watching uh, after on YouTube, click the link in the end card to book a call with me and we will talk. And if you would like my help to implement the strategy that I'm going to share with you, then we'll talk about that. And if you don't, that's okay too. I'll point you in another direction that might be better for you. Because what we're going to do on the call is we're going to talk about the things that are sabotaging you, the nerves, the stage fright, how that is affecting your technique, how it's affecting your sound, how it's affecting you from going after the things that you want, how it's affecting your, your finances, how it's affecting your sense of self, all of those things. And like I said, if you would like our help to transform those things, then we can discuss it and we can see if it's a good fit. And if not, that's totally fine too. Okay? So guys, 
don't waste another whole year. We're coming to the end of 2023 here. If you want 2024 to look different, then you gotta be willing to do something radically different. And I, I love giving you tips and tools and they're, they're actionable and they're wonderful and a lot of them don't address the real issue. And if you want the kind of help that does that, then do not waste a moment Get on my call because there's mind, body, technique, artistry linking here that we got to teach you how to do so that you get the results that you want finally and that your career and your voice takes off in 2024. All right, everybody, click the link, get on my call calendar. Let's set you up to succeed for the next year so that you don't waste any more time being on the sidelines of your talent. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into today's episode. If you wanna subscribe, click the link right over there that says subscribe. And if you wanna book a breakthrough session with me, which you absolutely should do, then click the link right over here that says book a call to schedule an appointment to speak with us. I'll see you on the next episode.